Hello all. Welcome to part 14 of Python tutorial. In this session, I am going to practically show you how to store a lengthy text into a variable in Python. So let's get started. First of all, I'll open this PyCharm ID where we have the sample Python file. Here, I'll create some variable say a is equal to. I would like to store some lengthy text. Say in the double quotes, I'll type the lengthy text. My name is Arun Motori. I have 12 years of experience in software testing. I teach Python programming for beginners. Python is an easiest programming language. Like this, I would like to type a lengthy text. I would like to store some lengthy text into this variable. But here, can I see the entire text in this editor? Whatever the text I have typed, can I see it a go in this editor? No, right? To overcome this problem, what I will do is I'll just press wherever I want to break. You see, from here to here, I can see. Here, I would like to break. I'll just press enter, guys. Automatically, a backward slash is being added by the PyCharm ID. Okay. So this represents that uh, you are just writing in a new line, but it's a continuation only. Okay. So in this uh, Python, you can just uh, use this backward slash. It doesn't make any difference, guys. Okay. You are just uh, seeing everything in the editor. That's the only the difference. Okay. And here uh, I have 12 years of experience. Now again, I have to break here because the text is going out of the editor, right? I just want to see the entire text. To overcome that problem, just press enter here. Automatically, the PyCharm ID is adding this uh, backward slash. If you don't have this PyCharm ID, then you have to do this manually, guys. Okay, you have to do this. Uh, you have to manually type. Just close this uh, text with the double quotes and provide backward slash, and then type the remaining text here, and again backward slash. So here, just like this. Okay, again backward slash. In the final statement, you don't have to write anything. So like this. Okay the lengthy text is now being stored into the variable and at the same time you can see the entire text in the editor you can see the entire text because you are adding this backward slash okay that is the advantage now if i say print of a this entire text will be printed in a single line we just run this code you see my name is arun motori i have 12 years of experience software testing i teach python programming for beginners and then followed by python is an easiest programming language okay but what if in the output also you want to display in the same fashion in that case here just say backward slash n okay backward slash n new line this means new line go to the new line after printing this just go to the new line okay again here also say slash n here also say slash n okay three lines last line is not required you don't have to go to the new line right for the first three lines uh, you can mention slash n when this particular thing is executed, it will take you take the control to the new line. Okay, now run this code. You will see all run this code. Now you will see all these lines printed in a new line. Okay, run. Here spaces are there. If you want, you don't want, you can remove them. Remove the spaces here. Run this code. You see, my name is Arun Motor. I have two years of experience software testing. I teach Python programming for beginners. Python is an easiest programming language. So this is the way of storing a lengthy text into a variable. And if you want this lengthy text to be printed in output in multiple lines, you just need to add slash n. And if you want to represent a lengthy text in the editor, and if you want to see the entire text, then you have to add the backward slash for every line going forward. Okay. So that's all about this session, guys. Thank you. Bye.